Brianna, uh, you uh, cover the Hillary Clinton campaign for CNN. Has Secretary Clinton commented on this latest controversial news about this other payment to Iran? She has not, and that is uh, pretty much because she has not had a chance to be asked about this today. She is off the campaign trail today, Jake. Uh, but this is something that she has addressed in the past. Obviously not the new revelations, but this idea of the payment. And it just goes to show you how she walks a fine line here, because she, uh, or really her campaign will stress that she was long gone from the State Department when this initial payment and now this interest payment that we know happened in January happened. And instead, what she does is she pivots back to the fact that under her State Department, that was where they opened up talks with Iran in secret. Uh, and she will say, look, eventually that led to a, uh, this agreement, which is to make sure that Iran doesn't get a nuclear weapon. And so she tries to capitalize on it in that way. Interesting. So she kind of takes the credit but refuses any of the blame. It's an interesting part of this, this fine line she has to walk where she talks about the foreign policy she wants while not distancing herself from even the parts of Obama's foreign policy with which she disagrees. Yeah, that's right, because she has embraced President Obama, and she doesn't really have a choice. He was her boss. So uh, as she embraces him, she is walking this fine line. There have been times where, uh, obviously, there are liabilities. The rise of ISIS, Libya, for instance. And you may think back to summer of 2014. Remember when she spoke to The Atlantic, and she said that the failure to arm Syrian rebels, which was something that she wanted that she did not get, led to the rise of ISIS, essentially blaming President Obama. There was so much uproar from the Obama camp. She actually, I think you may remember that summer, ended up having to kind of hug it out with President Obama at a birthday party. They were both out on Martha's Vineyard. But with some of the positives that she's able to talk about uh, from foreign policy come these negatives, even her emphasis on Asia, the keystone of which for her and for President Obama was that TPP trade pact that she has now disavowed. So it really is a balancing act that she doing. And Brianna uh, Clinton not on the campaign trail today, but uh, her campaign talking about this unexpected endorsement she got from a Texas newspaper. That's right. So the Dallas Morning News endorsed Hillary Clinton, and this is pretty big, even though no one thinks that Texas is going to be in Hillary Clinton's column on Election Day. Oh, you never know, but uh, you look past his prologue, that's not going to happen. But for the first time in 75 years, since before World War II, this paper, uh, the editorial board, is endorsing the Democrat and not the Republican. And they say, uh, you know, resume versus resume, judgment versus judgment, it's no contest in this election. And they went on to say, although they were careful to criticize Hillary Clinton on the Clinton Foundation, on her emails, on her honesty, they said her errors are basically not in the same universe as Donald Trump. So that's obviously good for Hillary Clinton, certainly a symbolic victory. All right, Brianna Keeler, thank you so much.